Hey there, so today I'll be showing you how to attach clothing that you separately inverted to your avatar. Let's get right into it. Ah, we'll just ignore that. So, over here, we have just a little bean, the boy. And next to him, we have, well, a scarf. So, first things first, we'll get the depth table out, and we'll want to get the hierarchy of this scarf which I'll get by just selecting one of these bones here. Next, we'll go to the root of it, and we'll see that this is actually has a hierarchy with chest, and then there's scarf or bandana, which is what these bones here are called. Now, the actual mesh, the visual for it, is here. And, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. This is our scarf. While over here, if we go and select the chest of this avatar, we actually have the chest here already. So what we could do is we could just grab this object by its own chest and just reparent it directly onto the avatar. Now this would work, however, now we have some duplicate bones, such as this chest bone here. What we can do instead is that we just grab the scarf or bandana and move it into the chest here. Or if we haven't moved the chest over yet, what we would do is we would grab the chest here, go to the scarf or bandana, and then just fill this chest into the parent slot. This way the local offsets here are preserved and it doesn't try to do any kind of global offsetting. Now next we'll rename this mesh slot here into scarf. And we'll grab it and move it into the armature underneath the normal stuff. Now we can scale this and position this as we want because the skin mesh, so all that matters is the bones that are referenced here. Now, lastly, we still have this old bone here referenced. What we'll do is instead of having the old bone, we simply go down the hierarchy to find the actual chest of the avatar and fill that into this zero slot here. And once we've done this, we can then get rid of this old bone here. Now, obviously, this is a very, very, very small scale clothing item, but this applies to every other clothing item. All you have to do is to get the mesh slot over onto the actual avatar, and then make sure that these bones here are referencing the bones on the armature of the avatar instead of on whatever you import it. So you literally just grab from here and then drop into here. And that's it. That's how you set up clothing that you separately import it. Now, things when you import it might be called differently, like it might be called scarf.fbx, pants.fbx, shirt.fbx, or .dlb, or .dltf. However, the basic process of just select it, go to its root, find where, where the actual mesh is, look at the bones, and then bring them over. That's always going to be exactly the same. I hope that this helps you, and I hope you have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.